Welcome to the Chief's Daily News Channel. Here, we bring you the latest updates so you never miss a beat. Don't forget to enjoy and subscribe for more content. Now, let's dive into the latest news surrounding the Kansas City Chiefs. When watching the Kansas City Chiefs this season, you might notice a distinct change, especially on the offensive side of the ball. While the defense is performing at an impressive level, the offense is on track to be the least productive that we've seen during the Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes era. For years, Reid and Mahomes have helped the Chiefs overcome roster challenges, but the magic seems to be a bit inconsistent in 2023. Many teams would envy a productive offense, but for the Chiefs, what's considered a down season is far below the high standards we've come to expect. A significant factor in this decline is the team's lack of reliable weapons at wide receiver. In a recent Monday night football game against the Philadelphia Eagles, Justin Watson ran more routes than any other receiver, a clear sign of a void in the lineup this season. The Chiefs took a risk this year by relying heavily on inexperienced players at the wide receiver position. While rookie second-round pick Rishi Rice has shown promise, Skier Moore and Kadarius Toney have not delivered the expected production. And beyond star tight end Travis Kels, the overall situation has been less than ideal. Interestingly, former star wide receiver Keshawn Johnson highlighted a different perspective. In a recent segment of Undisputed on FS1, he expressed that the absence of Eric Beanie as the offensive coordinator has had a noticeable impact on the Chiefs' offense. Many fans attribute the success to Andy Reid alone, but Johnson believes Beanie brought a unique quality that's currently missing. Beanie has since transitioned to the Washington Commanders, where he's transformed their offense into a competitive unit. Under his guidance, Sam Howell leads the NFL in a slew of passing categories, showcasing just how influential Beanie can be. The adjustments that were so crucial to overcoming the loss of Tariq Hill in 2022 seem to be lacking this season, with Matt Nagy at the helm. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about the cheap performance this season? Is it a personnel issue or something else? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your opinion matters, and it's vital for the Chiefs moving forward. That's all for today's update. I'll be back with more news anytime. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Go Chiefs!